This fight to be contested at welterweight with an upper limit of 67 kilograms. Introducing to you first and fighting out of the blue corner with a record of one win and one loss. Fighting out of the arts of Thai gym. Please welcome John Levin. Over here paying up that damn couch. We had that damn couch for 20 years. Uh -huh. Should have kept the plastic on. And this Snoop Doggy Dog need to get a jobby job. Boy, take care of the house while I'm gone. Clean up your room. Take out the garbage. I don't want these bad damn girls up in here. You hear me? And definitely don't let the dog pound up in here. I mean that. And don't be messing with the eight track. Blow me five dollars. Introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner with a record of two wins and zero losses, fighting out of Thai Honix Cape Town, please welcome George Tanatara! We started to get to the meaty section of this card now. The first of our pro-am bouts this evening. So George was actually uh, born all the way in India, grew up in Kenya, and now finds himself in South Africa fighting Muay Thai. 
Um, I'm pretty sure he'd be keen to keep that um, that winning streak going. He's won his two first fights. Um, we saw two different Georges. I mean, the first George was very technical, very composed. In the second fight, he came out swinging. So, you know, I wonder what we're going to get tonight. I think that was also just a reaction to the way that his opponents treated those fights. In the first one, I think he dominated a little bit early on. But in the second fight, we know that he got put under pressure and just wanted to show again. I can swing, I can bang with you if you want to, we can do that. It's going to be a little bit different with John, we have seen him on a TFP card before as well. Maybe a little bit more technical, not, not looking for big power, he likes to move around, likes to land those picked shots that he wants to get. It'll be an interesting one this one, having two guys who have fought on TFP before and have seen each other fight and seem to be quite friendly with each other outside of the ring as well. But as always, when, the, when that ball goes, you leave friendship at the, on the outside of the ring, and we see it straight away. George going with a big sweep there, catch and sweep. A nice right hand there from John. You can hear his corner, George's corner, telling him to be a little bit more relaxed. As they would say in Kenya, he needs to be a bit more pole, pole, sabai, sabai, but... I think sometimes when you smell blood in the water, you're coming out and you just want to finish. And maybe that's what he's sensing now from, from John. John backing off a little bit. Nice big teep there from both fighters, in fact. Well, as you say that, Cole, uh, John lands a very nice teep to push Jude back. George needs to be careful the way he's dropping that left hand after, after he lands a combination. Might catch something there. But I think the, the power ratio here, yeah, definitely George coming out very hard. We'll see how that plays out later in the, in the fight if it goes uh, further yeah. yeah I agree Carl uh, Joel seems to George seems to be landing some really heavy shots but like you say those hands are going down and um, if he's not careful they are going to exploit that later on I think he's rocked him there definitely he's gone down taking a knee getting a standing eight count it was actually his mong uh, his uh, project that fell off his arm there John Levin trying to find his composure tells the referee he's good to go you can see George's corner there telling him to just calm down and breathe a little bit and not rush this too much. He's in a good position here at the moment. I don't think John's able to handle the type of power that's coming his way. Again, his second standing A card. Of course, three standing A cards in a single round and the fight's over. So if George can bring him down to another one or look for a big KO finish. You'll have this fight in the back. Yeah, Carl, I agree. I don't think that he's dealing too well with the power. He needs to stop moving straight back and maybe get out of that direct line of the attack and get his composure. A slip there as uh, George manhandles Sean across the ring into the ropes. Bit like a WWE scene there. <laughs> Luckily, no clotheslines allowed here. Yeah. George looking a little bit more composed now. He knows he's got this round in the bag and he drops him for the third time. Um, that calls the fight in the first round again. Very good performance from George here. The power just proved to be too much at the end of the day. One of the nice things about Muay Thai, a second ago these two guys were out there to knock each other's heads off. A second later they, you find them hugging it out. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight's come to its conclusion at 2 minutes and 30 seconds into round one. With your winner, via technical knockout, fighting out of the red corner, George Tanazara! <laughs>